Hey, we have here today another integral. This one's from the MIT integration, be 2023. This is from quarterfinals, round four, problem one. We have the integral from zero to pi over two of dx over one plus cosine x plus sine x. Okay, and I didn't really look for different methods for this one because I've actually been looking for the opportunity to do a wear stress substitution. Okay, I have this substitution over here on the right, and I understand that I probably can't pronounce it, wear stress substitution. I think in German, the W sounds like a V, but I won't even try with that. But anyway, the interesting thing about this substitution is we're making a substitution for tan x over two, even though we don't have that in the expression. So it's kind of an unusual substitution. And like I said, because I haven't done one of these in quite a while, I'm actually gonna derive all the formulas that we need for this. Once we have the formulas, this is actually a really quick problem. So let's just go through how we get a value for, we're gonna need a value for cosine x, sine x, and dx. So starting with this substitution, if I just take arctan on both sides, we end up with x over two equals arctan of t. But then if I just multiply by two, I can solve for a value of x. And then just taking the derivative, I can get my dx value. So we're gonna have dx is gonna be two. The derivative of arctan of t is just gonna be one over one plus t squared dt. And so that's gonna give us the first value that we need. And next to get some values for sine and cosine, I'm just gonna draw my right triangle, but our angle here is actually gonna be x over two. So at that angle, if tan of x over two is t, we could like write in a one there. So if we write this as t over one, opposite over adjacent, we can find our hypotenuse is gonna be t squared plus one. So then to get a value for sine of x over two, it's just gonna be opposite over hypotenuse. So we have t over square root of t squared plus one. And then doing the same thing for cosine, cosine is gonna be adjacent over hypotenuse. So we're gonna have one over square root of x squared plus one. So now the only trouble we have here is we have these formulas in terms of half angles. We want to get back to the full angle. We want cosine x and cosine x, not these half angle formulas. So what we can do for these is use our double angle formula for sine and cosine over here, but I've just substituted in x over two for x. And then for the angle over here, that's just going to make it x instead of two x. So I can use this to start with to find my value for sine of x. So we're going to have two and then our sine x over two value is just going to be two square root of t squared plus one times our cosine value, which is gonna be one over square root of t squared plus one. But that's just gonna give me, multiplying this all together, we're just gonna have two t over t squared plus one. And then I think I'll use this space over here to calculate cosine. Our cosine squared value of x over two is just gonna be one over t squared plus one. And then squaring this, squaring our sine value, we're gonna have minus t squared, t squared plus one. But with common denominator, we'll just put those together and we'll have one minus t squared over t squared plus one. Okay, now we have everything over here to the right in order to make this substitution. So we'll start with our bounds, plugging pi over two in for x here, we're gonna have tan pi over four. Well, that's just one. We'll plug a zero in here, but tan is zero, that's just zero. Now our dx value for our numerator we have right here. So I'm gonna write this as two dt, but I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring this one plus t squared I always like to bring it over here because we're gonna distribute this in. Then for our denominator, we'll have one plus cosine plus our sine value, which is two t, t squared plus one. And the reason this works so nice is we get a lot of good cancellation because when we multiply, I need parentheses here, when we multiply this all in, this is gonna cancel, this is gonna cancel. We need to distribute this to the one term. And let's see what we have. We're gonna have two dt, then again, multiply that to the one, we're gonna have one plus t squared one minus t squared, and then just this two t. Well, the, the t squares are gonna cancel. One and one, that's a two there. Now I can cancel this two with the twos here so that we have one plus t here. Let me just clean it up so we see everything that's happening. But we're just integrating zero to one dt over one plus t. So integrating that, we're just gonna have natural log, absolute value, one plus t. I don't think we need the absolute value, but we can get rid of it in a second. And then evaluating that, let's just plug in, plug in, plug in, plug in. So when I plug in my one, I'll get natural log of two. Plugging in zero, we get a natural log of one. But natural log of one, zero, so all we're left with is our final solution, natural log of two. That's it, pretty fun problem. And like I said, I didn't try any other methods, so let me know your solution. Maybe you had some other creative ways of doing this. So thanks everyone for watching today. Have a great day.